Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a real life review of the BPL fingerprint pulse oximeter. Now this one, this particular model, I've been using it for uh, the past uh, almost six months. Uh, now this one was purchased when this was actually a little expensive. Right now it's pretty cheap. So I had bought it for uh, 2,900 and something. Now, uh, right now it's available for 1,899. So it's actually pretty cheap. So um, now why should you buy this? What's the purpose of a pulse oximeter? We'll be talking about that. Uh, we'll be seeing how this actually works. We'll be taking a closer look at it and we'll be talking about uh, what are the options? What are the other options? If you don't have a pulse oximeter, how can you actually check your oxygen level? So let's see what do we actually get with this? So this is the box. It's actually supposed to be opened up from here like this, but for some reason my mom opened it from the other side. Uh, let's keep this aside. You have a user manual which shows you uh, what all the symbols mean, what the button means uh, and uh, what are the things that you have to take care of while you're actually using this and uh, uh, the parameters are shown over here which shows you the parameters uh, and then over here you have the two menu the we'll be looking at the menu right now so there are only two menus in this and only one button so we'll be looking at that uh, and how to replace the battery and all those things let's keep this aside keep this aside too so you get this carrying case which is actually pretty good very solid uh, i haven't really used it to, as in i've not been carrying it around uh, but if you want to carry it around you can use this you can just put this in here and uh, you have a belt strap and a uh, uh, strap where you can actually put maybe a uh, hook or something and then keep it that way. So very good quality this one uh, Then this is the actual device you get this uh, Neck strap extra neck strap with it. So in case you want to keep it around your neck all the time You can use that now. Let's take a look at the actual device itself now uh, This is completely made of plastic at the back you have place to put two AAA batteries and this is actually a very good quality plastic. I didn't expect it to be that great, but the quality is very nice. And uh, even though this is painted, uh, this is actually maybe it will be a white surface. And on top of that, there is a paint on it. The paint has not come off, even though uh, this has been uh, kept on the desk and stuff. No scratches have come. So the quality is very nice. Let's close this. So it's easy to open, easy to close. Uh, okay, so it's IP22 certified. That means uh, water and dust will go in. So you have to be careful with this. Uh, now let's put it on. So you have just one single button. So everything is controlled by that button. Now let's see. So it shows you the oxygen percentage, battery percentage, oxygen percentage, battery percentage, and your heart rate. Now, uh, if you put it on and not use it, it will automatically switch off. Uh, which you just saw okay so it's off now let's switch it on now as soon as you switch it on inside that is the light sensor which actually sends the light and on top you have the sensor which actually reads your oxygen and your heart rate percentage so you have to put your finger in like this put this on and it will start monitoring your heart rate and your oxygen percentage so it says 98% oxygen. So uh, most of the time you will get between 98, 97, 99, 100. It'll keep moving between that. Now my heart rate is 86 and uh, my oxygen percentage is 98. Now, if I want to change the orientation while this is on, I just have to press it once. The orientation now has changed for that side. Now for this side and then you have this side also. So you can even keep it this way. Okay, so now let's take a look at the menu itself, how to actually navigate. So to go into the menu, uh, you have to keep the button pressed, the single button. Now you have two options. You have alarm setup and you have sound setup. These are the only, uh, two options available. Now let's start with the alarm setup. In alarm setup, you have the option of turning on and off alarm, beep, demo, and you have the option of restoring it to the default value. And then you have the brightness setting. Let me just show you the brightness. So this is the brightest. This is at five right now. Now it's gone down to one, two, three, four, five. So that's the brightness setting. 
Now let's go into setup, uh, sound setup. In sound setup, you have the option of uh, setting up the high and low value for oxygen and the heart rate. So what that does is uh, you put a high value uh, like 99 and the low value as 95. That's the preset one. Uh, you can change that if you want. So if your heart rate goes anything uh, or if your oxygen level goes anything above or below uh, that particular thing that you put, then it will start beeping. Now, let me just show you. So over here, in the end, over there, you have the small beeper, which is actually pretty loud uh, and it will beep and then inform you that uh, the level has gone up or gone low so that whoever is monitoring you can come and administer whatever medication has to be uh, given. So that's what this does. It's pretty efficient. For six months that I've been, uh, I mean, my mom has been using it. It has, uh, the battery has not gone down at all. So you can see the battery percentage over here. It's still full. It's not even gone down a little bit. So very good uh, battery life. Now, this is meant for long usage. So um, you can have other options uh, like bands and other uh, phones, which actually show you oxygen, meet, uh, oxygen uh, level but they don't give you a continuous oxygen level. You, know, you will have to switch it on, see the oxygen level at that particular moment. This will give you continuous one. Now let's take a look at alternatives to the uh, pulse oximeter. Now you have built in uh, pulse oximeters on Samsung premium devices. So if you have the S series, anything about uh, S5 and above, uh, you will have the pulse oximeter and uh, Note series, Note 4 and above, you will have the pulse oximeter in it. So let's go ahead and see how it actually works. Now all you have to do is uh, go into the Samsung health option and you have the option to measure your stress. So all you have to do is go into the stress option, hit measure. Now hit measure here. Now at the back you have those, this sensor, you just have to put your finger there and that's it. Just keep it there like that. Now the S7 is slightly faster. Now it shows me my oxygen is somewhere around 96%. Heart rate is 93. Now let's go on the S7. The Note 4 Edge is an older model, so it will take a little bit of time. And the software is older. Okay, so you see there's a difference. There's, it says 98 here, 96 here. Now let's see the actual thing. Now even this is not 100% accurate, but it's somewhere close to it. So if it says 98, your oxygen may be 99 or 97, somewhere around that. Okay, so it says 98 here, 98 here, and 97, uh, 96 over here. So uh, you see there, there's always going to be a difference of uh, one or two uh, points. So that's normal. Now I've been testing it. I've been using this on a regular basis. I've, whenever I go uh, to the gym, when I'm going for my jog, walk and all these things, I keep checking my oxygen uh, level to see uh, how good uh, my oxygen level is. So I've been comparing it with this and different phones. And I've seen that they always uh, come somewhere around close. But with phones, uh, the companies don't take any responsibility of the accuracy. Uh, these are specially meant for uh, this purpose. This is uh, only an oxygen meter. It's not, uh, it does not do anything else. So this one will be better in accuracy than the phones. Uh, I will be checking out for uh, bands which do show you continuous level of oxygen monitoring uh, and then make a video on that. And if you, if I find anything, I will put it in the comment and uh, we'll be doing a review of that later on. So that's it for this video. If you have any further queries, you want anything to be answered, uh, my uh, information is available in the description and at the end of the video. So you can go ahead and contact me that way. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.